Good morning, friends. Hi. We are live from the park today. We are excited. The sun is finally out. I, I said yesterday I ordered some sunshine for today, so we got it. Uh, and we are outside because we're going to talk about chalk today. I'm here with Stevie. Hi. Good morning, Stevie. Good morning. Good morning, friends. If you're watching, let us know so that we can uh, we can say hello to you. So we're going to talk about chalk because chalk is amazing because you can play with it right at home. You can do it on your sidewalk. You can do it in your driveway. Uh, all you need is chalk. It's super simple. You don't need any other supplies. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't need a big space. Uh, you just need uh, something to draw on, uh, right? And then it all washes off. So even if you make a huge mess, you get in the bathtub, you wash yourself off, you get a hose, you wash the driveway off, and, and you're good to go. So the first thing we want to talk about is that we want you guys to help us make some love go viral. What do you think about that, Stevie? Oh, yes. We need it. So you guys right, might remember that um, at the beginning of the year, we had our parks covered. All of our trails were covered with happy messages and positive thoughts and all that. And we want to see that continue. So. Go out in front of your house, on your sidewalk, on your driveway, in front of your neighbor's houses. Let's write some positive messages. Let's show everybody Mansfield Strong that we're all in this together uh, and lift each other's spirits. Um, we don't want you to go anywhere. You don't have to go far. Just go right in front of your own house. But if everybody puts a little bit of love in their front yard, then uh, it's definitely going to spread it and Mansfield's going to see that before too long. What do you think, Stevie? I think Good. Okay, so now we're going to start showing you guys some fun games and art projects you can do with chalk. Our first one is shadow drawings. You have to have the sun for this, which is why we ordered the sun. So we are going to go, we are going to go over here into the sun. Let's come right over here. See, so flip it around so everybody can see the sun. So here is our sunshine, and Stevie's going to stand right there. Stevie, can you stand over here in the sun? There you go. Okay, come a little closer here so we can see your shadow. So now, depending on where depending on where you are, uh, your shadow is going to look a little bit differently. So Stevie, if you turn that way and face that, good. Now, if, if you stand funny, then you, you get a funny shadow. So put your arms out. Very good. Face this way just a little bit more. Here for Perfect. Very good. So can you guys see Stevie's shadow? Look how silly she looks. Very good. So I'm going to trace her shadow. Just do this with different objects you can do this with your toys so if we set down our dinosaur look at that we can trace our dinosaur shadow just like we did okay that's okay you're good we can trace our dinosaur shadow and again if we come back later in the day our dinosaur is going to be even bigger look there's our dinosaur shadow very good see do you want to try tracing a car okay <laughs> very good Oh, that's perfect. That's a good car there. <laughs> and then once you've got your outline traced, you can fill it in. You want to go draw a happy face on yourself there. Give yourself some clothes. Also, I just want to point out, we've got a lot of different games and stuff that we're going to do. And we're going to add a sheet in the comments so you guys can print it off and have uh, instructions for all these things that we're doing. <laughs> so, oh, that looks perfect. That looks just like her. Very good. <laughs> Very good, guys. Look at that. Oh, good point, Emily. If you don't have a lot of chalk before this, uh, I will say you can get lots of chalk at Walmart. So, uh, so it is. If you do a site to store order or something like that, you can still you can still get it at some of the places that are still open. So, our next game that we're gonna play is Simon. There's our Simon board right there. This is something that uh, let me turn it back around this way. Whew, that mom and dad will probably remember. Simon was a really popular game. Stevie, do you even know how to play Simon? I don't think so. Yeah, she doesn't. I didn't think so. Okay, so we drew a Simon board. You can draw as many colors as you have. We've got pink, blue, yellow, purple, green. So, Stevie, come over here. So, basically, the way Simon works is you just um, mirror each other's actions. So, you can draw just two colors or four colors, however many colors you have, or more advanced if you have uh, bigger kits that are going to be more advanced or simpler based on the kids. So I'm going to go first and I'm going to go pink, blue. Now, Stevie's got to copy me. 
Very good. So CD copies me and then she adds something to it. So she's going to go pink, blue, purple. Okay, now I have to remember that, okay? So it's pink, blue, purple. And then I'm supposed to do it and add something. So pink, blue, purple, green. Okay, now Stevie's turn. Pink, blue, purple, green. <laughs> okay, now you gotta add to it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so you gotta keep going until pink, nobody blue, messes up, until somebody purple, messes up. Green. Yep. Nice. Okay, let's see if I can do it now. Here we go. Pink, blue, purple, green, yellow, green. Out. Woo! Okay, so as you can see, this could go on for a really, really long time or for really fast, whenever you're out of breath or when somebody forgets. This is a great way to teach colors. Um, it's a great way to do math because you're learning patterns and repetition. You could also put sight words on there if you wanted to learn that kind of thing. Um, or just let it go faster and time each other. Um, and also, if, if you don't say it out loud like we were doing, it's a lot harder to remember. So we were doing it like that because we were being easy. But if you've got some bigger kids that really want the challenge, Try not to say it while you're doing it, and then it's a lot harder to remember. So that's a super simple game you can play. Uh, another one we've got over here that we already set up. Okay, so we're just gonna look at Stevie and we're gonna watch Stevie play this game. So this is a word jumble, just like uh, you'd see like on, a, um, on the menu at the kids' restaurant or things like that. We just put the whole alphabet up there and uh, they're all in, in mixed up orders, right? So now all you gotta do, Stevie, is spell a word. Yeah, you jump on him, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Very good. That's exactly right. So, so here again, this is depending on, on how big your kids are or how, uh, how much you want to work on. You can practice sight words. You spell another word. You can say, spell your name. And you have to find all the letters of your name and hop from letter to letter. So we're getting lots of activity in here. We're practicing our spelling. Even if you just say, uh, find the G, find the F. So um, if you're just working on letter recognition, it's a great way to, uh, to play and practice. Um, if you've got bigger kids that really want a challenge, you can give points for how many letters are in each word. And so if you can come up with a really long word and get to every letter without falling, then, uh, then you get points for the number of letters, things like that. So you can, uh, you can make this as complicated. Stevie, spell your name. You can make this as easy or as complicated. Oh, she put the S way all the way up there. <laughs> she's, she's regretting that. You can make this more advanced <laughs> as you need to uh, uh, and, and just keep going as you're going. Uh, so the next one we're gonna do is paper dolls and it's a lot like our shadows. Ooh, we're gonna lay it down. All right, Stevie, you gotta lay down now. I warned her this was gonna happen. On my back? Yes, so Stevie's gonna lay down on her back. Oop, here, scooch a little closer to me, sorry. I'm just gonna make her drag herself on the floor. How about that? <laughs> Very good. So she's gonna lay down however she wants and I'm gonna trace her body. Good. Very good. So this is a good one your mom and dad can help you and then you can trace your mom and dad. Uh, and you can do your brothers and sisters, you can do whoever. Trace your body. Good. And once you get everything all traced out, now you've got a paper doll to dress up. All right, Stevie, hop up. Very good. So what do you think we should make Stevie wear? Hmm? Let's see. Should we make Stevie wear a tutu? How about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to put a tutu on Stevie right there. Very good. So this is a really fun one where you get to be really silly. So if you trace your dad and then you can give him dog ears or you can do whatever you want to do. Let's see. Let's make Stevie sticking her tongue out. Perfect, it looks just like her, what you guys think? So there again, you make, you make some paper dolls of all your friends and family, uh, and then you make them look as silly as you want them to be. Okay, our next one is really fun. We're just gonna sit down right over here. This is a little bit of a quieter one, but this is a really good lesson in uh, social studies and mapping and all sorts of things. So you're gonna start, hi guys, I'm gonna go down here. You're gonna start by drawing your house. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my houses right here. And then this is a really good thinking one for, for little ones. So now I want you to think about the street that your house is on. Good, okay, so here's our street that our house is on. Now, which way do we go to get to school? Hmm? I bet if you ask your kids, they're gonna remember. You drive out of your house and do you turn left or right? Right? Stevie, how about you? Do you turn left or right to get to school? 
she turns left. You gotta come closer because there's bad in So we're gonna turn left, good. And then is it just straight left or do you turn again to get to school? Um, we take another left. Left and then another left. And that's it? You go straight down a few blocks and then you take a right. And then there's the school. There's the school right there. So now we're gonna put our school right here. Very good, put a little bell on top so we know that that's good. Good, very good. So we're gonna draw our road here. Very good, and now we've got the school. And try and draw a road to your grandma's house. So maybe grandma's house, instead of going left here, you go right here, and then you go straight. And think about that, as you guys are staying home, you can still imagine, close your eyes and think about the drive, uh, and think about your, your road, and try and make a map of your town. Try and add all of the, um, all the places that are special to you guys. Maybe you could add your favorite restaurant, you could add your favorite park, obviously. We love you to add your favorite park. Uh, where's our car, our little car? Because we can take our car for a ride once we, once we get it. Uh, but try and, and talk about all the places that you guys like to go um, and see if you can map them all out and create a map on your driveway. And then, you know, get your cars out and, and take your cars on a ride. Let's say, okay, I'm gonna go to school today. And then you drive your little cars and drive on the road and go on the map. And, uh, and go all the way to school and go all to your favorite places. And again, this is, this is great for spatial recognition, but also it's a really good lesson in social studies. Um, and it's also just fun for the kids to think about all the places that they like to go, um, especially right now while, while we can't go to any of those places. So very good. All right, so we're gonna try progressive follow the leader. You ready, Stevie? I am. This is another action one here. <laughs> okay, so we have started it over here and it literally just starts with one word. So we started with hop, okay? So the first person's gonna go and they're gonna say what it is. And I said it's hop, so I say hop, so hop. Okay, so you come hop over it. Okay, so now she's gonna add something to it. So grab your chalk, CB, and find the next move that we're gonna do and add it to the end. Oh, yeah. yeah, so it could be jump, it could be spin, it could be touch the ground. Spin. Okay, so Stevie's adding spin. Okay, so now I've got to do both moves. I've got to do hop, and then a spin, and then I'm gonna add touch, ground, touch, and go. Hop, spin, touch, ground. I'm gonna add, yeah, jump. Okay. Very good. Okay, here we go. Ready? Stevie's gonna go last. Hop, spin, touch the ground, jump, we go. Very good. And you guys, you just keep going, keep adding to it uh, till you make a super long uh, follow the leader exercise that everybody can keep up with. Uh, make it more silly as you go, see how everybody can do it. Okay, next one we're gonna do is crazy tightrope. All right, Stevie, come on over here. I want you to draw a squiggly line over here for me. So this one can be as silly as you want it to be. So draw squiggles. It can go around. It can loop back, loop-de-loop. -loop. We're going to make our squiggles as busy or as simple as we want it to be. Good. <laughs> That's okay. That's a good place to stop. Uh, and again, this is where you, you can modify for little ones. So if you've got little bitties that can't quite keep up, So you have to spin around all sorts of fun modifications you can make to make this the craziest type rope you have ever walked before all right we're gonna go sit down and do a quieter one how about that stevie that works. <laughs> works for me too okay so this is the dot and square game so this is a very popular game again on the kids menu of every restaurant <laughs> we used to play it in car rides because we used to go for car rides just draw a grid of dots on, you can make it as big as you want, uh, and 
and you just take turns connecting the dots. So, I'm going to draw a line there. Good. And you just keep going, drawing the lines <laughs> until someone is able to connect the lines and make a square. Look at that. She can make a square. So, she can write an S in it. She can draw a heart. She can color it all in with her color, however you want to go. And you keep going until all... Oh, man. She's killing me at this game. You keep going until all of your squares are filled in. Oh, I got one. I got one. I'm putting an orange part in mine. Good. Okay, your turn, CD. Good. And once they're all filled in, you count and see who got more. Who do you think got more? It was close. <laughs> I even close. This is my game. <laughs> uh, so again, this is a quieter activity. Um, it's a good to do when you need to need to chill just a little bit. And you can just keep adding on to it and adding on to it. Um, and anybody can play. You don't need a lot of skill. You don't want to read. Um, you just need to connect dots, which is, is good to do for any of you, right? Very good. Okay, let me grab this. Can you draw a bunch of uh, different shapes? So Stevie's going to draw circles, rectangles, hearts, squares. Oh, hi, Nicholas, Heather, and Johnny. <laughs> hi, guys. We hope you guys try some of these out. We've got lots of friends watching us here, Stevie, and they are excited. I hope you guys all have some chalk at home and ready to play. So we are adding lots and lots of shapes to the ground. Uh, we're going to add some more. Yep, I should have set this one up ahead of time. We're good, though. Yep, we're going to keep adding shapes. And then this game is going to be sort of like uh, like Simon. Um, it's going to be a maze game. And so then you're going to try and travel just from one end to the other, going just on rectangles or going just on triangles. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah, so then we put you can put as many as you want in here. So you can put some more circles and some more triangles. And so we could say, okay, just rectangles. And you have to try and walk from one end of the driveway to the other, only using the rectangles or just using the circles. So, okay, CD, go. Let's see. Can you go, um, can you get all the way just on squares? Squares. Good, good. Yay, very good. Oh, hi, Tori, Brennan, Chloe. Okay, we wanna see you guys play this game this afternoon. Okay, now, Stevie, I'm gonna give you a challenge. I wanna see you go square, circle, heart, triangle. Square, circle, heart, triangle. Very good. So there again, oh, good morning, Reese and Daddy. So, uh, so here's where you can make it more challenging. You can say, find the triangle if you're, look, if you're practicing shapes. If you've got bigger kids and you just wanna practice memory, it can be more like the Simon and you have to, you give them a really complicated one. We're gonna give Stevie a really complicated one here. Okay, so let's do um, star, triangle, square, heart, circle, triangle, square. <laughs> did she get it, guys? Did she get it? She did not get it. <laughs> she did not get it. She tried really hard, though. She tried really hard. Yes, you practice. But that's why that's what makes it so fun is that you can really just do as much with it as you want. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to do here, Stevie's going to hold the camera for a second. And I'm going to draw a picture. Uh, I'm going to draw right here some balloons. So the last thing that you can do is just make some art because everybody loves chalk art, right? But you can use it to have a fun photo shoot. So if you just Google chalk photos, you'll see lots of different examples of these um, but you can draw things on the ground and then take a picture so now stevie's gonna lay down and pretend like she's holding those balloons yeah and so i'm gonna get way up high mom and dad might need to get on a stool to take the picture but oh there she is <laughs> so cute very good so you can do the same kind of thing and you can make um you can add hats you can add a sign where it looks like you're holding up a sign. You could pretend like you're swimming in the ocean and draw a bunch of fish all around you. You can do pretty much uh, anything you can imagine um, with the, the chalk art drawing around you. And then um, 
that is way. Oh, look, we have our friend Angie is at home watching. Hi, Angie. <laughs> so, uh, so then you take a picture, take one of those silly pictures with the chalk art, uh, and you can send it to a friend. Send it to a friend. Send it to grandma, grandpa that you're missing. Um, anybody that you haven't seen in a while, um, send them a silly chalk picture and challenge them to do their own. Right. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do one uh, where it looks like I'm in the forest and draw like big trees and maybe a bear eating the head. What do you think? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's, what are you gonna draw? Uh, probably um, in the dance room. Oh, in the dance room. That's, dance <laughs> she's already in the dance room. The dance room. Very good, absolutely. Okay, so we've got lots of ideas. Like I said, we're gonna add uh, in the comments a thing you can download with the instructions to all these games and a few more that we didn't get to. Um, but we hope you try them out. We hope you make some art. And again, like we said at the beginning, uh, we hope you add some happy thoughts uh, on your sidewalk, on your driveway, on your neighbor's sidewalk. You can definitely do it at an appropriate social distance. Uh, leave everybody some happy messages. You can even drive to the corner of your neighborhood. Leave them on this on the curbs right there um, and tell all your neighbors, tell all your friends that Mansfield's strong. We're all in this together and uh, we're going to keep everybody's spirits up and having fun uh, until we can get out and enjoy the world again. Right? right. All right. Bye. Yes. Thank you so much for joining me, Stevie. Thank you guys all for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure and share a picture of your creations below uh, and we'll see you guys next time.